Monday, you guys. It's the start of a new week. To be honest, yesterday I wasn't feeling so good and I wasn't gonna work out this morning just because like when I get my period, my hormones go crazy and it makes me feel not like myself. But I knew that if I didn't push myself to book this workout class today and to actually like show up for myself, wake up early, I knew it would like make me feel even worse about myself and it would just like go in a downward spiral from there. So I'm just like so proud of myself that I showed up for myself today, especially when it, you know, it gets hard and I made it. I woke up at five, I'm here about to do my workout class and yeah, I'm excited for this new week. So I actually have an energy drink with me today. This is the Kim Aid Alone. They actually don't sell these in Canada, but Madison's boyfriend Connor got it for me and Joel. So cheers. I'm not gonna have it all. I'm just gonna have a few sips because it's just yeah, it's so much caffeine in it. But cheers. That's literally crack cocaine in a can. Like that's that's like too dangerous to have every day. This is so good. There's no way I can have 200 milligrams of caffeine right now. Mm. This is so good. It's probably better they don't sell this in Canada. Okay, cheers. Let's go into our workout. I am so sweaty. I just finished my workout and it was so good. It was like a butt, legs, and arms class, and my booty is quivering. Like it was quivering and like it's still quivering. And I just like really felt the burn today and it was so good. But today is hair wash day. My hair is so disgusting right now. Like it's actually gross. So I'm gonna give her a nice wash. I ended up having like only less, even less than like a quarter of that energy drink. And it had like an effect on me <laughs> because I'm so sensitive to caffeine. And those drinks, I'm pretty sure they have like 200 milligrams of caffeine in them. And so like I do not want to get addicted, especially at this time in the morning. But I wanted to try and drink it because like I've never had one of those Alani Kim drinks before. But anyways, I do not recommend if you don't want to get addicted to caffeine because those are just too good. And I could easily have downed that can in like 10 minutes because the taste is so good. But boundaries with caffeine. But yeah, anyways, I'm literally sweating. Ew, this is actually disgusting. But the classes are infrared, like heated workouts at oxygen. So that's why I sweat so much. But anyways, okay, let's hop in the shower and get clean. <laughs> it's so nice taking a shower after my workout. I'm thinking about getting the Jerk Avenue like robe, but I don't know if it's worth it. I heard like mixed reviews on it. So if you guys have it, let me know if you like it and if it's worth it because I'm debating it. Hey guys, so me and Joel are about to go grocery shopping. He finished work 
a little bit early today so i was like you're gonna come grocery shopping with me because grocery shopping is just such a more pleasurable experience when you can do it with somebody i don't know i think it's fun it's fun to do alone but it's also like even more fun to do it with somebody so we just have a few groceries to get just like our weekly list for dinners and stuff and i don't like buying like produce and stuff in bulk so i like getting that like weekly like salad spinach stuff like that i'm thinking of having chicken caesar salad for dinner tonight because joel bought some chicken breasts last week and i don't really like just eating chicken breasts plain i just find them a little bit dry so i was like you know what we can just like cut them up put them in a nice chicken caesar salad and it's gonna be so good and joel really also low-key want to get um kittens like we want to get two cats not sure when that's gonna happen but dogs are honestly too high maintenance for us right now so i feel like cats is just like the perfect medium yeah so stay tuned for that might not be till the new year but we're definitely looking at getting kittens like adopting them oh so i don't know when it's gonna happen but when the time is perfect things will come and it'll happen but saying it might happen soon but anyways okay let's go grocery shopping <laughs> up or we picked up this peach paradise we have never tried the peach flavor before joel already tried it he said it's really good and it smells so good synergy by the way ultimate favorite kombucha brand like you just can't beat it that is so good mm. and everything in here the ingredients are really clean it's all organic i'm so picky with my kombuchas and this is my ultimate favorite brand ever so good every flavor never disappoints so we're gonna go home now i need to kind of clean out the fridge a little bit and then put the groceries away so here is a little grocery haul so i just got some baby spinach and some lettuce i got some strawberries because i was just craving some fruits got some apples got some eggs dairy-free chocolate chips i got some cocoa powder some garlic powder and then paprika just had to stock up on a few spices and then i got this vegan caesar salad dressing for the salad tonight and then i just got some white vinegar because i needed some this is so good this brand is vegan and the ingredients are amazing i love pairing this with mary's crackers just as a snack it's so good so i would definitely recommend um this brand all other flavors are really good and then i also picked up this hummus and the ingredients are really good there's no bad oils it's made with olive oil and then i just got some yams i love making fries or breakfast potatoes with these i got some sourdough for joel and then got some avocados got some hibiscus tea and some everyday detox tea this is our favorite brand of tea by the way traditional medicinals i don't know if i showed you guys these but these are so good it's a vegan popcorn and they're made with olive oil and avocado oil coconut oil so there's no bad canola oil in them and i've only ever tried the not nacho cheese but they're so good and they're dairy free and i got the orange one to try this one i would 10 out of 10 recommend if you come across them and then i just got some romaine lettuce for tonight's salad and then just some potatoes so that is the little haul i'm just gonna clean out the fridge now and put everything away <laughs> So I'm just wrapping up work for today and I'm gonna start making the Caesar salad. Honestly, today I'm stressing about something and I'm kind of letting it like consume me and ruin my vibe. And this is just kind of showing me how it's so easy to let like the little things in our life consume us and stress us out so much to the point where it ruins our happiness and it ruins our vibe. But in situations like this, like whenever I catch myself stressing or being annoyed at something or whatever the case is, I just zoom myself out. And what I mean by zoom myself out is I picture myself sitting here on my dining room table and then I picture me like bird's eye view zooming out all the way in, into space, earth, and then it zooms out even more and then you see all the other planets and then you realize, wow, I'm just a little grain of sand 
not even in this whole entire universe like these things that we stress about are so irrelevant the only things that really matter at the end of the day is that you are happy you're healthy i tend to do this a lot and i try not to but it's just we're all human like we're all going to make mistakes and do things but sometimes i just tend to get so consumed by the little things that don't even matter in life i let it ruin my mood and stress about it but it's like no when you really think of things like that and you zoom yourself out nothing really matters because we are on a floating rock in the middle of space seriously if you put that into perspective over what you're worrying about it's gonna be almost totally irrelevant and it's crazy because we all do this like in our day-to-day -day life we worry about so many little things but that's just a trick that i've learned and that i've been doing and it helps so much to really just put things into perspective and so that you can just see that your little worries little silly problems of the day they're not that relevant they're not that important and you just have to keep focusing on what makes you happy and realize that in a few weeks in a year in five years like the things that you were worrying about today are going to be totally irrelevant and you're going to be just fine anyways i just thought i'd give you that little reminder because sometimes i need that reminder and i just love looking at it that way because it always helps me so much but anyways i'm gonna go start on the chicken caesar salad for dinner now <laughs> So here is the final Caesar salads. I literally just cut up the lettuce, put the chicken, and then the Caesar dressing, and that's about it. It looks so good, and I've just been craving chicken Caesar salad for some reason, and it was so easy to put together. Healthy, but yeah, we're just gonna eat now. It looks so bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my all time. I think this is like my favorite breakfast ever. Super easy to make, and I love when I have the ingredients for it so this is a yam i'm just gonna take probably about half of this i'm just gonna peel it now okay now all that i'm gonna do is cut this in half and then just kind of cube the yam as much as i can it's kind of hard because it's like an awkward shape sometimes just as much as you can Okay, so this is kind of like the size I like to make them kind of medium to small now I'm just gonna throw these in a bowl and then we're gonna season them I'm just gonna start by putting a little bit of olive oil Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm just really just eyeballing everything So I'm gonna go in with my garlic powder 
and then my paprika this kind of makes it a little bit spicy which i love but it gives it such a good flavor as well so make sure to add this in but don't go overboard or else they're gonna be too spicy and then i'm just gonna pop the lid on and shake it so now i have my air fryer basket and i'm just gonna transfer the potatoes into there I'm gonna put them in at 350 for 15 minutes and then i'm gonna take them out shake them up and put them in for another 15 minutes but you really just have to check on them depending on the size of your cubes and everything and how much you're making so here's how the breakfast turned out i just paired it with two poached eggs and then an avocado and then i made this little sauce it's maple syrup and hot sauce mixed together but it goes so good with this but you can put any like dressing on it or whatever you want to put I did like soft poached eggs so the um, yolks are going to be runny and it's just so good and healthy and it's amazing i'm going to eat right now Hey guys, so this morning was such a nice, just like calm morning and I lit some candles. I did some work and I've basically been working all day, but just on my computer. So that's why I didn't really feel much, but it's already around like 2.30 now. Today is honestly just like a really gloomy day. And also the days are starting to get so much shorter. Like the sun is rising later, the sun is setting earlier and it's getting dark around six now, which is just like such a weird concept. And this happens every year, but every time that it happens, for some reason, it's just like really hard for me to adjust to and the days just feel super off and like gloomy and weird but what i've been trying to do instead of you know talking negatively about the rain about how it's gloomy about how the days are shorter i'm just trying to see it more from a positive perspective because i know that around this time like a lot of people can suffer with like seasonal depression and i don't want to say i've ever had seasonal depression because i haven't but it definitely like affects my mood like it could still affect your mood without having like actual seasonal depression and it definitely like makes me a lot less motivated than i would originally be for example today i was working in my pajamas was all day i haven't even changed but i kind of looked at this from like a positive perspective where i was like oh it's so rainy today i don't really feel like getting dressed so instead what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stain my pajamas and i'm gonna make myself a hot coffee and i'm gonna make my desk set up all nice light some candles while i work and also put like a jazz ambiance music in the background while i was working and it just honestly set the vibe so even though it was raining and gloomy and a little like it's dark outside today a little bit i tried to kind of change my mindset about it rather than the weather making me a little bit like down and sad i kind of switched my perspective on it and i was like you know what this is a good thing i get it to have a cozy work day and even though i didn't feel like getting out of my pajamas i'm like you know what it's fun like i can work in my pajamas i feel like around this time of year if you struggle with that too like kind of the weather just like bringing your mood down a bit and making you feel less motivated try to just rewire your brain and try as hard as you can to just like romanticize the little things so let's say it's raining outside but you have to go drive to work maybe leave 10 minutes early and go pick up like a nice hot coffee at starbucks i feel like it's important especially around this time of year to put in the effort to not let yourself like fall into that downward spiral you know the days being shorter weather being bad and also we do have christmas to look forward to which is actually crazy that it's almost christmas again like it's gonna be here before we know it i love the holiday season i feel like it's really what gets me through november and december i try to like extend christmas into november and december so it's not just like a one month thing for me and that also helps like romanticize life and just things in general about the winter but yeah so today i worked in my pajamas and i'm gonna continue to stay in my pajamas but that is okay because that's something that i wanted to do and i kind of made it like a cozy work day like lighting candles and everything and i'm also going to make a cute nice little soup for dinner tonight to further romanticize the coziness of everything because it just feels like a soup day and, like thinking of things that i'm grateful for like the sound of the rain you know it is kind of soothing and calming and even though it doesn't necessarily make you want to jump out of bed and go be productive and motivated you can look at the positive sides of things yeah so i just thought i would chat with you guys about that i have laundry to do so i decided to pause working for a bit and just do some laundry and just tidy up a bit because i know that'll make me feel really good so that's what i'm gonna do right now let's get some laundry in also you guys i got these new pajamas that a brand sent to me i will have them linked down below they also sent me a few other pairs which i'll show you guys right now but look at how cute they are i'm obsessed and they make me just feel so cute they're so comfortable 
I swear having a cute matching pajama set really just does the most for me like it just puts me in such a good mood because I feel so cute um but yeah let me show you guys a mini haul so here's the other one of the other sets that they sent me I'm obsessed this is like a blue floral and this is a pink floral I just can't like how cute is this and the material is so nice and like light to sleep in but super cozy and like really soft and then this is the other stuff that they sent me it's so adorable like these little cute roses are you kidding me with matching shorts and the little cute slit here is wearing cute pajamas honestly puts me in the best mood so i'll have these linked down below but yeah this needs a bit of tidying my laundry is overloaded so we're just gonna tackle this right now also my vanity is a mess <laughs> so let's do some cleaning <laughs> happy wednesday it's crazy how it's already wednesday like what the heck this week is going by so fast i got my kimlani this is the one from monday because i refuse to drink the whole thing at once i know it would probably make me have such a good workout but like i just can't do that the taste is just too good anyways i'm gonna go into my workout but i was having such a good sleep last night i woke up so disheveled i was like where am i i kind of hate that because it's like then you wake up so groggy but that also means you had a good sleep so it's like you know i had to snooze my alarm today for an extra three minutes just because i needed like the time I got my super pop up today as well, but because it's freezing. Anyways, okay, let's go work out. Cheers to a productive week.
not good morning good afternoon you guys it's currently one o'clock and me and joel are just doing some errands today we're gonna go stop by his parents house to drop something off and then we are going to pick up some flowers right now for his mom and then we're gonna go drop them off and then my car fob really random but like my car fob battery is pretty much like dead so we're gonna get a battery to replace it and just do a couple errands that we need to do yeah, i was just like on my computer working all morning so just boring stuff but today's a chill day mostly gonna be doing like computer work and just going out for a little break now to do some errands but yeah it's a really nice sunny fall day today it's kind of like chilly but the sun is out so it's really beautiful outside this is like the perfect fall day but anyways, let's go in to get some flowers. Hey guys, so I kind of got myself a little bit ready for bed. I put on my pajamas and I'm craving a sweet treat. And I want to make a gluten-free peanut butter cookies and i found this recipe on my phone and it looks pretty good it looks promising so let's try that together i've just been like needing to eat dessert every night i don't know i just have such a sweet tooth and even if it's like a healthy dessert like it still satisfies me as long as it's like sweet you know what i mean even if it's like fruit it'll satisfy me i just have the biggest sweet tooth but we're gonna try out to make these peanut butter cookies i've been obsessed with making the gluten-free brownies that i showed you guys a while ago like a few like a month or two ago i've been making those like on repeat because they're just too good but I just kind of want to switch it up a bit and try to make some gluten-free cookies with my almond flour. So let's bake them together. I will let you guys know if they're good. But they're pretty simple ingredients. Like to sweeten it, it's sweetened with maple syrup, which is really good. And just almond flour. They don't, they don't even have eggs, so they're vegan. But let's make them. All right, we are starting off strong here with half a cup of peanut butter. I get this peanut butter from Costco and it is natural. The only ingredients are dry roasted peanuts and that's it. So if you wanna make these a little bit healthier, maybe try using like a natural peanut butter because in like those sweetened peanut butters, there's so many fillers. It's just kind of very unnecessary because peanut butter just by itself, like without any sugar added, it tastes really good. So I don't know why as a society, we just decided to make it super unhealthy, but I used to bake the Kraft peanut butter cookies like years ago with the unhealthy peanut butter and not gonna lie, those were like the best cookies ever. But you know what? We gotta, we're gotta we stepping into our healthy era, so. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna put the peanut butter in the bowl. Okay, so now it calls for four tablespoons of maple syrup. I always like to go a little bit overboard on the maple syrup. And then you're supposed to add vanilla, but I just don't have any, so. And now I'm just gonna take a spatula and then mix it all together. So now I'm gonna take the almond flour and it calls for one and a half cups. In a small bowl, by the way, with all the dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna go in with half a teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, it says baking soda. Oops, but I don't have that. I only have baking powder. So we're just gonna use that instead. Hopefully it does the same thing. <laughs> Not really sure, honestly, like what the difference is. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just gonna take a fork and kind of whisk it together. Okay, so now it just says to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. So I'm just gonna slowly mix the almond flour mixture in. Okay, here's how the dough turned out. There's honestly not much, but what I think I'm gonna do is divide the dough in half and then do half of the cookies without chocolate chips and then the other half with chocolate chips because usually I don't make peanut butter cookies with them, but I decided why not try it? So I'll do half and half and then I'll let you guys know which ones I like better. Okay, I barely <laughs> made any cookies, what the heck, but I did half chocolate chip, half regular, and then I just patted them down with a fork and now I'm gonna pop them in the oven. It says for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna do that and then I will let you guys know how they are. So update on the cookies. They were so delicious. The ones without chocolate chips. So do not add chocolate chips. It completely just kind of ruined them. I mean, we'll still eat them. They're good, but they're not nearly as good as just a plain, you know, authentic peanut butter cookies. I also added an extra tablespoon 
almost two tablespoons extra of maple syrup i feel like it wouldn't have been sweet enough without that so make sure to add extra and yeah just bake them for 10 minutes on the dot take them out let them cool for 10 minutes and they're perfect but i will have the recipe link down below just make sure to make that modification but anyways i'm gonna continue watching love island because I'm obsessed. Hey guys, so I'm just about to go to bed, but you guys know I go to oxygen yoga and fitness so often, like every time I work out, that's been my workouts lately and I love them so much and they actually sent me a little package. They have really cute, like branded stuff. This is their hoodie, it's just black, really good quality. And then they also sent me the matching shorts, like how cute. Then they also send me these black leggings with the matching black sports bra thank you so much i'm so excited and they also sent me a water bottle that i've been using it's downstairs so you guys will see it eventually but i love it but anyways i'm just gonna like brush my teeth now and really get ready for bed those cookies were so good so i 10 out of 10 would recommend but anyways good night you guys i will see you tomorrow good morning you guys happy friday you guys are gonna think that this is completely ridiculous but i am finishing off the kimmade this morning and it's still carbonated don't know how but it still tastes good and fresh so it's not icky i promise but I'm at my workout class at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness as usual. And this is your sign to get through your Friday. I literally was this close to not going. Like I didn't want to come today because it's Friday and I'm lazy. And it's like you kind of feel defeated by the week sometimes. But this is your sign to persevere on Friday. Because I feel like it's just one of the most important days to have discipline. Because it's like the day where you're going to have the least motivation. Try to pump yourself up on Fridays. I was listening to the new Drake song with Sexy Red and SZA. Mm, it was pumping me up. So you just got to do something to kind of motivate yourself. But yeah, I'm feeling pumped up. And I'm going to go smash this workout. And I'm going to feel so good about it. I've just really been in my healthy era lately. And it just felt so good. And I don't know if I updated you guys. But I've been doing the gluten dairy free oat free diet for about three to four three and a half months now and my skin has never been better like my eczema completely cleared so it really has been helping me and i just feel like i'm in my health era and i'm so happy about it i've been working out consistently and it just feels really really good so anyways yeah let's go work out and get this friday accomplished working on a weekend like usual way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, a chief's game hung Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that Hey guys, so I have been working all day, but I'm just about to head out the house. I put like a cute little bow in my hair and got ready because I'm going to my parents' house for my sister's birthday. And I had to film like a video today. That's why I didn't vlog much or anything. Honestly, you guys, this week I have been just like super, not, I don't want to say like super stressed, but I never really talk about the behind the scenes of doing this job. I've just been like stressed about a couple things. I feel like in this industry, there could be so many people that just take advantage of you because they see that I'm like a 23 year old girl who's just making silly little YouTube videos. But it's like, yes, 
and this is my passion but now it's also my business and my source of income so it's like i have to stand up for myself in this industry and i just feel like sometimes it's not taken well when you stand up for yourself and like i would never be the one to be rude or anything but it's like within boundaries like you have to step up for yourself or else you're gonna get walked all over i'm honestly just like learning a lot too like i never went to business school um or any of that so it's like doing this doing youtube and working with people on the back end of things i actually have been learning a lot and learning how to deal with certain situations learning how to deal with people learning how to deal with brands there's just like a lot that goes into it that is not shown behind the scenes because it's not like really i don't think what people want to see sometimes it does get a little bit like overwhelming and stressful because people sometimes just don't take you seriously and it's really annoying so it's just like i don't know this industry is crazy and like i don't really have many friends in the industry that i talk to like i don't have anybody where i can really go to advice for with this kind of stuff so i'm just having to figure it out all by myself which is kind of difficult it's a learning curve it's a learning process and i wouldn't trade it for the world because you guys know like i list my youtube channel is my baby and i love it but there's definitely a lot that goes on on the back end and it's like just like frustrating sometimes because I just feel like I don't get taken seriously. But yeah, that's the ETA for today. We're going to be leaving the house now. And I just wanted to end off this vlog. I hope you guys got some Monday motivation from this video. I hope you guys have an amazing week ahead and you're enjoying your week. Make sure to do things that make you happy because I know the weather is getting gloomier and stuff. So make sure to do things that make you happy and, you know, surround yourself with motivation, whether that be YouTube videos, podcasts, whatever it is. Um, make sure you're always surrounding yourself with motivation and have a goal in mind because that's what motivates me the most personally Like if I don't have a goal, I'm like, what am I doing this for? You know, what am I waking up at 5 a.m. for? You have to have a purpose behind everything because if you don't then you're not actually gonna do anything You're not gonna have that discipline. You're not gonna have that motivation because it's like, okay, what am I working for? so having that goal and having something that you want to achieve is going to help you be motivated in your day today and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please let me know any videos you guys want to see down below um i know i got requested to do a q a so you guys want to like learn more about me which i will definitely include in like an upcoming video i don't know if I, how i'm going to do it if i want to do it on instagram or if i want to do it like in a youtube video so we'll see but that will be coming soon so yeah i read every single comment that you guys comment so i love interacting with you guys so please comment anything you guys would like to what you guys want to see from me and don't forget to like this video subscribe and i love you guys to the bottom of my heart thank you so much for watching and i'm so grateful for each and every one of you and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video